All right, the masses have spoken, and the decision is to look at the appeal lens first. Gotta look at that. Uh, here we go. Yeah, so we have fairly reasonable appeal already. Obviously, all of this jungle is pretty terrible appeal, but remember that we, we're going to chop. We're going to chop most of this stuff, and we're probably going to have to settle some cities, like, coastally, so I think Earth Goddess just makes the most sense. Um... The harvest is fine too because there's so much jungle um so you can get a lot of faith out of chopping tiles and that that could help us win a faith victory um yeah i think did i start a new timer no i always forget uh oh the the other one's just about to be up okay there we go perfect perfect thank you Hortos. thanks for thanks for that bud um, ooh, loyalty issues, eh? Okay, um, yeah, we have a few, like, good holy sites around here, which is nice. We have to decide if we want to take them over. Not as easy to do without, um, with, with the, with the instant wall mod, but, um, our archers are really good, so it's possible that we still can. And then, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's Earth Goddess for me. Just gets better and better the more uh, cities you settle. That's true. That's true, Chimera. That's true. Yeah, I just I, I'm, I'm confused by it. I am confused. All right, I'm gonna keep my warrior over here to protect protect some settles. It looks like he hasn't gone my way, which is really nice. Can you move? All right. Um. Yeah. So we do want a religion. And we'll turn this into a uh, a faith race, as it as it were. You guys get it? Did you get it? Why is there science? Because we're next to a wonder here. Uh, yeah, we need to get our archers. So right after this, I think I think we're gonna crank out. Just one more slinger. That's fine. That's probably like all we have to upgrade money wise, anyways. And then we'll probably start creating cranky, like making them. 12 turns, 13 turns. Ugh, and we're all on the same continent. That just really irritates me when, th when, th what, four? Well, yeah, four sieves spawn on the same continent. Like, ugh. Come on. That's not cool. Ah, oh my god. And the one person that doesn't like religion just got a religion. Oh, dear lord. We picked ourselves a rough path, I think. Alright, I'm going to see if we can boost this. We have barbs to, to deal with. And maybe we go mining. Oh, I might have to get some... Pro uh, so, so, obviously, one's gone. I might have to get some... Uh, projects going. Still think we can get. We have time for a couple slingers. Actually, no. Oh, what do we want to do? I missed the opportunity to put in a goad, which is what I really wanted. Um, although 25, 25 gold to, to unlock this is pretty reasonable. Yeah, let's do it. Because I don't need this anymore. Uh, we'll take the production, and then I'll take this. Not that a builder would be bad. Uh, when you're looking to settle your second or third cities, do you look for environment as your founding or new luxuries blocking off um, or the territory factor more? The territory is the biggest part. Um, what I'm looking for in my second or third city are like really good tiles so that I don't have to get them a builder and stuff so that they can just start doing things that I want them to do, like produce stuff or really good, um, really good district locations. So we went with the Earth Goddess. Did you clear the camp for me? Oh, he did. Okay. He cleared the camp. That's okay. That's something. That's something. All right. And then because we're running these, um, we'll get some overflow here and we could, we could, it'd be really good for Magnus already. I will want this. I will want conscription with our units probably.
You get into the later game, are you um you still worry about choosing your citizens making sure your citizens are growing? Or does does there come a point when your city's grown uh, as big as you need to be? Yeah, you, you saw at the end of that Alex game that we were just playing, um we were able to get that like late settled city up to um seven pop like pretty quick, right? Like within like four or five turns. Um so that was like that's I, I, I think I think the growth is just really you hit a you 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 hit a point where the growth isn't helping you. Um but but as far as a new city goes, then yeah, I do want them to grow grow fast. But but as soon as I'm done growing here, even though we've got this insane growth, like I don't really have productive tiles to work until I add in some of these other guys. Like the city doesn't have that much production, but it will have good districts. There's a point to not um, not get rid of that just because there's kind of not that much production. Got one, two, three, like four or five workable tiles like production wise Netherlands and Scythia are at war yeah definitely restricted any culture bombs of course all right So let's use the overflow here. Um, let's see. Yeah, only three more production needed. We're at 12, and then basically increase that by 70%, right? So we could use some overflow here um, and plunk it into a settler, but I can boost that anyways. So I might want to just use that overflow for some holy site prayers. Somebody else is working on a prophet. Yeah, if we miss, miss a religion here, it's a huge, huge waste. It's not the most efficient um, use of your time, anyways. And if we, if you miss it, then you're just, you're just sad for all time. For all of time. You gonna come and fight me? I welcome the challenge. So, did you settle all your cities? You did. Okay, good. I don't have to be as concerned about the forward settling, but I do need to get here quickly. Wow. Well. I could also get a monument here. That would make sense. I'm just going to run a holy site prayer. Mm. Love super awkward starts. Whoa. Heh. <laughs> having to having to shift her military over there. There's a tile. Oh my gosh. If only. Alright, we're gonna have to bring our warrior back. We'll swap out. We'll definitely have Tundra Barbarian problems here before long. Still both just at two. Yep. Okay. There's his second one. Kind of figured. I'll just do one more. And I think I'm just going to have to finish hard checking this. I think we still want to fight somebody. It could be, it could be, it could be anybody. We're surrounded by a couple juicy targets. Still trying to figure out how to navigate the whole loyalty system, getting screwed over by other cities forward settling. It's tough. It is, it, it that is not fun, huh? Like we, we are kind of like, actually because he settled right there, like we, we don't really have that many places to go. This is wide open. Um, and, and there's, there's plenty to be had down there. Um, but we wish we wish we could have set up like a, 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 a perimeter with like three cities here and then backfilled this. Man, 
As much as this city sucks, the rest of this land looks pretty juicy. <laughs> nice. All right, so that holy site prayer put us put us ahead of the curve here. Uh, new, uh, uh, Wilhelmina's already working on science, so she's she's grabbing a very good early scientist there. Um, can I build a city uh, a city line from northeast to southwest? I can't build any more cities to the northeast, unfortunately. I mean, I guess, yeah, over here we could. All right, so three turns until archery. Um, and then we probably want to build even more, right? I'm, I'm not building more now because we're not really going to have all that much money to upgrade them. I'm going to need gold. I need a builder. I need a builder. I need these three tiles to be worked and give me a bunch of gold. Which means I need irrigation. So we're going to have to finish off archery then. Grab mining, pottery, and irrigation like that. Oh, I just did the thing I didn't want to do. I meant to switch them. Whoops. Oh boy. Oh boy. Huh. I mean, I can't, I, I'd love, I would love to help here, but I can't. Sorry. There's all this good land. Come here. Why do you have to? Why do you have to forward settle me? Mommy. Why? Uh, Fallen Void. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I appreciate you. Let's cross the river. Okay. We are. There's really no point in working like these tiles anymore. Because we're at four of five housing. So all, already our our uh, food here is kind of useless. This is good, but again, we need more mines. Um, yeah, they need a uh, they need a builder. We need some builders for sure. All right, next turn we get our archers. Let's let's decide now. Um, what we're up to. Realistically, this is not a bad city. The reason that this isn't bad is not only is there a sugar tile, but there's a reasonable farming triangle here. And the real issue with Tundra is housing and growth. Um, these river lumber mills are pretty darn productive. It's uh, obviously it'd be way it'd be nicer if it weren't Tundra, um, but I think this is a passable city, like right there, possibly with some districts over there. Th there's no way they're ever big enough to work like all of these different tiles, and these river lumber mills will be just as productive as 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 the mines here so it makes sense to me to plan in a city there with a holy site there's lots of woods too so like a reasonable like that's even a plus one holy site and maybe throw a campus there maybe something like that perhaps um one two three so we could also still get a city over this over this way um Perhaps just this for the plus two. Forest better with Earth Goddess. True, yeah. The uh, the appeal will be very high with all the all these forests. Absolutely, yeah. Overriding. That's a good point. Overriding the uh, ugly tundra over here, because if we look at our appeal lens, uh, tundra not super not super inviting. However, all you need is charming for Earth Goddess to kick in, and these woods are making it uh, very easy. So even maybe a couple of Tundra cities. I think I, I actually don't hate that. I mean, it's like a wannabe Russia strategy, but. Uh, and then I think I like this city. 
It's a good city. Um, we could get a plus two uh, holy site there, but this is plus one that goes up to plus two. We could also do a sequence like this. I want to leave this woods. Hi, Weezo. This is a, this is a small map, and it's deity difficulty. Get rid of the cattle. My thought was a government district. Just watched the tutorial videos on districts. Found it very helpful. Awesome, Swirly. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Thank you for that feedback. Uh, I don't think that's a good enough government district. I, I think it's it's too weird. It's too weird and awkward. I think I'm happy with a plus two holy site, a plus three commercial hub. So realistically, that could also be another one. But see, this is significantly worse, right? Because there's no food source. The, it's, it's, an, it's a shame that the tundra extends like all the way up here. Because it makes this city not really doable. We could settle this and at least have access to some flatland. But there's not a farming triangle. The tobacco actually gets in the way. So I don't know that I want to do that. It looked okay for a second. But I think no. I think no. I think that's fine. Then this is here. I can settle the tobacco. And then we could take advantage of this plus two holy site. It's not bad. What's my success rate at this level? I don't know. What do you? I I I, I don't know. I, I I've never really kept track, but I always play on deity, so um, it has its challenges. But once you're used to it, it's really not that bad. All right, you're coming home. Yeah, so this is here. Like I said, we have some coastal options. Farms. It's unfortunate that we have like zero desert for Nubian pyramids. I could see settling this. Sa same re same logic as before. Problem with Civ is that a, is that at Prince you almost always win, but King you never do. Oh no, Weasel, we can help you, buddy. We'll, we'll get you up to Emperor, no problem. What can we help you with? What are you struggling with on uh, on King? I liked this city, right? Oh, there's a barb camp there. Yeah, I, I like this. Doesn't really make a good harbor, but a pyramid there is nice. Um, and then we have two woods tiles, so we could clear this jungle, throw a holy site there, and it starts as plus one, plus that. Um, it's really not ideal. Okay, cool, man. Well, if you have any specific questions, let us know. We're happy to help. Yeah, there could be a city up here, too. The two woods allow us to uh, create a holy site that doesn't totally suck. I'd grab that city center, maybe. I could also settle the horses. But I think I like this just fine. I think when in doubt, build a theater square. I, don't, I do not want to build harbors. Ugh. 
Yuck. Does this? Yes, it will. It will hurt. Yes, all this will be up on YouTube, friend. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I, th this won't be up for a little while because we have the whole Alex game to to um to uh to to put up over there. Yeah, it's all right. I I I. Uh, but coastal cities. I mean, what do you do? You have to get harbors, right? Too close to any other. So there's another. Oh my god. Oh, I hate coastal cities. I have to make this work, though. No, they'll be separate. They're, we're we're recording them in like half hour, half hour stints. Possibly that, maybe not that. We'll see, and then definitely probably like this. Well, as much as I don't like this at all, as much as I don't like this at all. Yeah, just the adjacency is a bummer, but Earth Goddess will help. Especially with the coastal cities, we'll have a, a, a decent amount of faith. We have to settle these cities to take advantage of Earth Goddess. Um, we're going to be lacking some commercial hubs, but so that's that's already uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight, nine, ten, eleven. If I take them. This is a little too contested for me. Is it weird that I could see getting an aqueduct here? I might just want to avoid that. All right. Depends. I mean, we could go. We could go take over the Khmer. I think for a holy, uh, uh, for for a faith race, um, you only really need uh, you, you need you need eight cities. You'd like twelve, just for economy's purposes. Economy's purposes? Economy doesn't own anything. Just for economy purposes. There we go. Yeah, this is fine. Look at all like there's actually a lot of production to be had here. So the growth plus the production, it's not it's really not bad. It's a plus two holy site that I'm settling on too. I wonder if we I wonder if we settle the mart the sugar. Who knows? All right, let's get our archers. Some arrow score to be had there. This is kind of unfortunate. How, how, how much do we want his cities? What are you building here? Hmm. I really want to settle up here. I really, really do. Behold the wonders of the heavens and earth. Thanks. All right, that's XP, which is nice. All righty. Do we want to switch policies at all? Probably. I really, like I said, I need those builders. It's 60 per upgrade. So yeah, so the three was perfect because we've got 193 gold, but we're going to kill our gold per turn uh, as soon as we upgrade. And, and and realistically, we have time. If he decides to warn me, um, we've got time. Yeah, I think I think we need to grab um, a few builders real quick. I'd like to be building settlers. I really would, but I'm like I've got this weird indecision thing going on with um, with our with our military. I don't have any. Yeah, we might as well leave that in there. 
because our slingers don't cost any maintenance. So we don't have this right now, although we might in a second. What is the maintenance on our unit? One. Okay, same as regular archer. That's not that's not bad. So this is going to get hard teched. Unfortunately, we didn't find a second continent, which is sad. Very sad. What you building? Hanging gardens? Yep. Hmm. All right, so we've got mining, so we can mine that diamond. It's going to be a pretty low science game. Should be trouble with uh, Scythia. But she, she likes me as long as I don't break promises, right? Out of my land. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just make that first. Hey, that's a really important boost to get. Three city-states. Unfortunately, none of them religious. Um, <laughs> and none of them first meets. So, a little bit unlucky. But honestly, I think this is fine. I'm just going to leave this guy right here. Oh, come on. It's so annoying. Darn you, AI. Oh, this was continents, too. I forgot about that. This is continents, which is going to make the, um, the religious warfare kind of annoying. Okay. Yeah, this is a continents map. So it's probably just the three of us, which is, which is well distributed. That, that makes me happy. Okay, we've got Protestantism founded. Warrior Monks and Meeting House tend to be the first two uh, beliefs gone. Neither of those um, are something that we want. So that's good. Uh, and we are... Oh, he's still only at two profit points. So in ten turns, we have a religion. Khmer has science now, too. Okay. Do I still want this city? That's plus two holy site. I don't mind putting districts up on these. I really don't. A couple sea resources. Which in general are a bummer. Okay. What are you is that Stonehenge too? I don't know. I don't. I don't have a plan to war you at all. Yeah. So he just started hanging gardens. Certainly not going to get there before uh, before she does. Wilhelmina is going to run away with this game. Unfortunately. Ten turns. Um, you know, I don't mind the Dark Age, Golden Age. Uh, especially since we're not... I should have saved that then. Damn it. We could we could we could go for a medieval holy or a golden age, heroic age, and then the loyalty wouldn't hurt so bad if we go into a dark age since I'm since I'm not forward settling like I'm I'm just backfilling. If we decide to do war, this is a terrible idea. But for every other for everything else, I think that's what we're gonna do. I like this. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good potter's hat. The other question is, do we take these city states? That that we could do, I think, even with the walls, fairly fairly easily. 
So we could build a little bit more mat uh, military and then start building some settlers. Can you explain ben benefits of Dark Age over a Golden Age? There's no benefit in a Dark Age over a Golden Age. But if you go from a Dark Age to a Golden Age, you get a Heroic Age where you get three of those dedications. Um, and that's what we'd be looking to do. Um, it would give us... It's probably not that important, but it would help us spread our religion um, because Exodus is a good... And then we'd also be able to pick Monumentality, which is a lot of, a lot of things we're trying to do with faith. Um, but it still might, still might work out well. I think I need to take these. I, 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 I would like, this is actually, um, a really decent, uh, uh, um, suzerain bonus for, for culture, for anything culture related. And, and again, we've talked culture is important in every single game. However, we're not really going to, we're not even building districts that can do multiple great people. So this isn't super good for us. Um, faith buying walls, not a big deal. Although the buildings is nice, like that, that would, it'd be great to like settle this and just spend some faith on a um, like a granary and a monument and just be able to faith buy those things like at a reasonable cost. So actually, Valletta is more useful to us. I think I think we just have to take them both over because this because then then we get really insane districts. Like if we if we if we take these guys over, then we could then we could put like a government district right there, a couple holy sites, and then uh, commercial hubs next to them. Really, really good economy, like right in that little nook. It's either that or try to stack it, but these coastal cities don't stack well. Like, I, I can't. I guess I could put their holy site there and like a government, but then it's just bad. I like, I like the idea of taking these guys over. I'm not a huge fan of doing that anymore. Um, because I like having the city states around. But, uh, in this case, I think it's gonna be fine. I don't want to produce this yet. Not until the next age, because this will push us beyond the golden age. I could probably I probably have time for an eight turn settler. Then we can secure a little bit more. But the, all the rest of this should be fine. It's not like they can settle more cities up here, really. I mean, technically she could come and settle that, but I don't I hope that doesn't happen. I'll be really sad if it does. Um Yeah. Cool. We'll see how hard it is. This is this will actually be my first experience with um, taking over one of these city-states early when they have the walls. So the wall mod. Wall mod not helping us in this game. Hurting us for sure. One turn until border growth. And then we can start our holy site. I think it's going to be really easy to get a uh, golden age next era. The Dutch river settlement doesn't work? What do you mean? Like taking them over? Too far away. This is like a dream Russia spawn right there with all of this production. Plus uh, the research station. You could OCC this right here. You could OCC that spawn, I think. Vlada would have fallen without it. Oh, absolutely. I'm just saying with me, like I haven't, I haven't tried to take over city states since, uh, since using the mod. All right, cool. That is, um, that's a video. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. And we'll get started with a brand new turn in the next one.